Hello. Okay, so I'm still messing around with the lighting. I know that you guys said that the last time I filmed, you said it was okay, but I'm still messing around with it. Let me know what you think of this. I haven't really been doing a whole lot of shopping lately, but I'm still, you know, accumulating things throughout the month. So I figured that instead of doing like, oh, hey, this is a MAC haul and all I got is this lip balm, Instead of being like that, I figured that I would just kind of compile everything into one big monthly haul video. Um, so, yes. I'm calling them New Stuff, and this is my first official New Stuff video, and this is for June. I'm gonna start with the things that aren't really makeup-y. Earlier in the month, some of you might know if you follow me on Twitter. If you don't, you probably should because it's pretty awesome. It's an awesome experience for everybody involved. I celebrated my anniversary with Danny. Danny is my boyfriend for those of you who are new here. So I have a couple gifts here from him that aren't makeup related, but I'm so excited about them, I wanna show you anyway. This first one is kinda of dirty, but you see me wearing this. This is a sweatshirt. It's a hooded sweatshirt. And this is from Jinx, okay, Jinx.com. Um, for those of you who play World of Warcraft or online games, that sort of deal, you probably know what I'm talking about. If you don't, you probably have no clue what I'm talking about. This is the Horde Premium Women's Hoodie or something like that. I absolutely love this sweatshirt. I was thinking of doing a review on it just because I don't see any reviews for it and I know that's completely not what I do on this channel, but whatever. And then also for my anniversary, Danny gave me a Nintendo 3DS because I don't know if you guys know how much into gaming I am, but I'm pretty into gaming. And it looks like this if you haven't seen it. And to go along with my 3DS, he got me Zelda Ocarina of Time. It's um, a significant upgrade from the DS that I have been using. I can't honestly say that I use the 3D function all that often. As cool as I do think it is, it's not practical for regular use. So anyway, um, so the first probably most uninteresting thing in this entire haul is my um, new deodorant. <laughs> And this is the Dove Ultimate Ghost Sleeveless Deodorant. The only reason why I'm showing you this is because I want to let you know that one, it smells really good, and two, it actually does what it says it's supposed to do, which is kind of like make, it makes your um, armpits just more pleasant to look at, I guess. Next, from Target, I actually picked up this liquid eyeliner, and this is the L'Oreal Carbon Black Telescopic liquid eyeliner. I'm really determined to be good at liquid eyeliner and it's really not working out for me yet. It's, it's nice and black and that's nice but I don't know. Next I showed this in a couple videos now so I apologize for showing it again but this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Exposed. That's what it looks like on the inside. And there's a swatch of that right there. Hopefully, um, you guys can see it. That's like way, way, way more pigmented than I would normally wear it, but there you go. I don't always fall into the, you know, YouTube hype around certain products. Sometimes I don't always believe the hype, but this, the hype around this is really justified. Next, and you guys have seen this, plenty of times also, but this is my Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream. Last two makeup-y type of items. These are two of the lip glasses from the MAC Bloggers Obsession Collection, which I will be discussing in a beauty blabber after I film this video. These were honestly the only two products out of the entire collection that even appealed to me. This first one is Evolution Revolution. I hope you can see all the little glitter particles in that, but this is absolutely beautiful. I'm wearing it right now over in sync lip liner. And there's a swatch of it that's kind of um, more gloppy than you would normally wear it. Like there, I don't know if you can see, but there's so many little glitter particles in there. And on the lips, this is 
not at all gritty. It's very finely milled. It is so, I don't know. I don't even know the word for it. It's just nice. And then this one is obviously something a little more out of my comfort zone. This one is more likely to be something that I'd wear on a regular basis, whereas this is just, I don't even know what to think of this, but this is Sonoran Rain or Sonoran Rain. And there's a swatch of that. Can you see all the little glitter particles in that? Really, really pretty, but really, really out of my comfort zone. Okay, all these next products are nail related stuff. And I'm gonna start with the gifts. The gifts. Um, my friend Meg, selling X Riot 182, had sent me these things, and she didn't have to, but I love her for it. The first things that she sent me, and hopefully these are gonna show up, okay? These are little jelly nail art decals, I guess. And do you see? They're like little skulls with rhinestones. They're so cute. She also sent me my first two Sinful Colors nail polishes. And this first one is... What's your name? What's your name, little girl? What's your name? And then we have Shawsha. Shawsha. And then she sent me two of these Mood Struck nail polishes. They're like those color changing ones and they're actually pretty freaking cool. They don't have names, but that's the first one. And uh, that's what it changes to, I guess. And there's this next one. And that's what that changes to. Um, I have another one of the Mood Struck nail polishes here, and my sister actually got this for me. Um, after I had tried the ones that Meg had sent me, I kind of went on a hunt for them because I thought they were really cool. And my sister picked this one up for me from Rite Aid. Rite Aid? Rite Aid. That's that. That's what that changes to. So I have these two Enfuos these Enfo nail polishes. So this first one is one of their glitter polishes and this is GS01. And it just looks like that. It's a bunch of little glitters and it's super freaking pretty. It is so pretty. Now this next one, I'm doing these first purposely so that, you know, I just get this little rant out of the way. This is one of their jelly polishes and this is GS30. And it looks really pretty, really, really pretty on the nails. It's just overall really nice. However, uh, the formula and application of this, I have no idea what the rest of their jelly polishes are like, but this particular one is, oh. If hell could be shrunken down into a bottle, this would be it. The only way I can describe applying this, it's like if you took like rubber cement, do you guys remember rubber cement? If you take rubber cement and try to paint it on your nails, that's this. Anyway, now that that's done, here is a Nicole by OPI polish, and this is in Make a Commitment. It's just a lot of pretty little holographic glitters in there. Then I have an Essie polish, and this is in Smooth Sailing. We have one of the Zoya Touch Nail polishes, and this is in Pandora. Then we have four OPIs, and these are all the Serena Williams Glam Slam France duos that I have been going crazy for. Here's the first duo. This is how they came packaged. This is Rally Pretty Pink. And this is Red Shatter. And this is the other duo. This first one is Spark Day Triumph, which you guys have seen already. And then there's the White Shatter, which is my favorite shatter thus far. This is so good. And then lastly, I have four Cult Nails, which I am absolutely obsessed with. I love Cult Nails. I highly recommend you check them out. This first one is, I believe, Always Winning. Yes, Always Winning. Look at all the glitter. Um, this next one is Let Me Fly. 
here is cruising nude and this one has gotten quite a bit of hype so far and I believe this is captivated it might be captivate I think it's captivated that's what that looks like and uh, that is the end of my little haul. Well, oh, I guess it's not that little. Yeah, so I hope that this was enjoyable. If you guys like this whole collective haul type of thing, instead of just being like shrunken down into smaller hauls, let me know. And uh, if you like the lighting, also let me know. And I will talk to you guys later. Ta-ta.